did have a video of me attempting to put the outer rocker on. What happened was, I wasn't paying attention. And there's no gap in here. So, once you uh, put some primer and paint on there, it's gonna be rubbing, it's all gonna chip off. So, I'll just cut it back out and try to adjust it a little bit. I will take the door off. Um, just to help me get in areas up here, but besides that, uh, just trial and error. Like I said, I'm not a welder, I'm not a body guy, so just trying this off for the first time pretty much. Well, at least the welding and new panels will line up, so I'm going to cut it back out just from the sides and the top bottom I'm gonna leave and just try to lower it a little bit try to get the line up a little bit better so first video I did probably won't even use any of that footage just cut all that out and try it again but I said I'm gonna take the door off it shouldn't be that bad just about six bolts so get that off and then get to cutting that I'll just use cut off wheel and then have some flat disc on the angle grinder so I'll smooth it out a little bit clean it up and it should allow me to get the welder back out and uh, try it again so we'll see how it goes and if None of that works. Probably just have to phone a friend and have them come. It's, uh, show me some different techniques. Help me get my welder set up right. So it's a lot cleaner welds. And we'll just take it from there. But let me get this door off and I'm gonna try it again. All right, so just had to improvise a little bit. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna work. This whole back corner, I'll uh, I'll leave this like this for now, and I'll come back in and hit this fiberglass with a flap disc, clean that up, and try to get a couple welds in there. As far as along here, what I did instead of having it sit on top, I uh, tucked it underneath. So then I'll just weld along this gap right here. Get all that welded in with a whole bunch of studs. And then I said this corner I kind of dented it in a little bit. Won't worry about pulling it out because this gap's too too much of a gap. The cutoff wheel ran out of disc. So use a flap disc to uh, cut the rest of these welds out. So that's too much of a gap to try to weld. So I'll weld along the top and then here be fiberglassed in same thing with back here but along the top right here I'll still try to get some welds in there Let's, uh, clean it up a little bit try to sand that down see how fast that goes if not just a couple passes with the flap disc but yeah that's the plan just have this holding it into place for now I didn't cut the bottom because I thought the bottom was good it's gonna help me out a little bit so We'll have to, this rocker's definitely getting some, a little bit of body filler, but I'm gonna go ahead, get the welder out, start uh, just throwing tack welds on these all the way around, Let's see how well it goes. Now I'll probably sand this before, but yeah, these clamps came in handy. Um, I'm just trying to tuck it under this, uh, edge already so should be holding it into place it looks fairly straight like I said I'll double check it but I know I'm gonna have it's gonna give me the actual gap now and not have it sitting up against it I'll still go back through with my original plan and I'll clean up these previous welds and just along the side I'll do one seam of probably fiberglass filler just to give it a nice edge to it 
But that's what I'm working with. Like I said, I'm not a body guy. But definitely clean these up. I have to clean these up and treat them also. Because they're a little rough. But yeah, try to clean those up as much as I can and treat them. The doors are going to have to come off eventually. So, kind of helps me out. Take them off now. Um, eventually, I'll get my uh, compressor back. Clean these up. The jams and stuff, I'll probably just clean them up, prime them, and I'll single stage them because they are the jams and the firewall. I'll be single staged. Even, might even do the back of the uh, fenders. Single stage all that and then the body, probably base coat, clear coat. With the color I'm going with, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. I'm not going with uh, high gloss, not going with the candy, not going with the color shift or anything. So I might throw some pearl in there, but with the jams, it's not really gonna matter. So that's why I'll single stage those, just make it easier on myself. So eventually get all this cleaned up, primered and painted, then throw the body back on, primer, paint that. But for now, let me get these rockers done. Uh, probably have a few hours of work on it today before I go to go into work, but We'll make it happen. Like I said I could have could have left it with just uh, just how I had it, but I know that gap once you paint it, primer it, it's gonna add more thickness, and eventually it just end up cracking. I was just gonna hammer it down just along the edge, but I was like, that's not gonna look right, especially if I get dips and stuff in there. So cut it back out. I wish I had another this for the cutoff wheel but I don't so I had to use that flap disc which gave me larger gaps on the outsides the inside or the, the top seam was fine just along the outsides uh, there's a larger gap but I'll just end up fiberglassing those in so not too worried about it um, but other than that I said I'll get the water back out and give it a shot. Hopefully with it being daylight and with the door off not blocking anything, I'm able to actually see where I'm welding. So it, in theory, it should be a lot cleaner, but we'll see how it goes. Let me stop talking, put the camera down. I'll put you guys on a time lapse and uh, get back to it. Still not perfect, but I think it looks a lot better than before. I still add some more spot welds all along here just to make it a little bit stronger. And then smooth it out with the flap disc and then put a seam of fiberglass filler on it. And like I said, I still need to sand right in here, add a few spots in there. But overall, I don't think it's that bad. My second attempt at it. Really, second attempt. Well, I did the seat mounts, but that was flux core. It's really my second attempt at MIG welding besides a little practice uh, pieces I have. But yeah, like I said, throw some more just tacks along there. And she should be in for good. No more cutting it out. I so said the door will probably stay off. I need to go pick up a couple more saw ho horses. Um, probably get the other door off, the fender off, and then put the hood somewhere. Might throw the hood. I don't know. Throw it back to where it was on that side of the car. But 
I said, I'm not a welder, so don't get on me too bad. I'm still learning, but I am improving. That's the big thing. Um, this one, I think, did change the settings on the welder just a little bit. So I think I have it just right. Um, that's working for me on them. But I'm not getting burned through. It looks like it's actually um, heating up a lot faster. And then I'm leaving the gas on there for an extra second or two after I'm done doing the spot weld, which seems to be helping. So I think it's good. I'm figuring it out. <laughs> Pretty sure there are some welders out there that are looking at it like it's horrible, but I'm just starting, so I could have got I could have just left it as I had it before, but like I said, this car, not trying to cut too many corners on it. I'm um, trying to take my time, do stuff right. Whereas the Elko, I did cut a few corners on it, but this one, I'm gonna take a little bit more time to do it right, so. That's it, um, I'm gonna get back to throwing a few more uh, welds on there, and then, let's see. Probably have to start, yeah. Got a little bit of time, so. Put a few more welds on it, let it cool down and clean it up and call it a day.